Okay guys, it is Eric Hobson back here with Hobson Dynasty. Um, today as you can see, we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the bike, but first and foremost, I just wanted to let you guys know everything that's been going on lately, why I haven't uploaded a video, and just get kind of a little bit of an explanation out there. So pretty much I uploaded a video like four days before I left for North Dakota, and then I was in North Dakota for like seven days. Um, while I was in North Dakota, my German short hair, the cutest dog ever, passed away. Um, she had had parvo, and I thought she was fine. I went up to North Dakota, and um, she relapsed pretty hard, and just didn't make it. So that's kind of the reason, other than money. Um, I just got a new job, but before that I was jobless, and it was really hard for me to go out and film a video and then come back and all the gas. If I go out on the boat, I spend like 40, at least $40 in gas if I actually want to go, go different parts on the lake. Other than like right, right around the launches, that boat sucks gas down, it's got a big v6 two-stroke motor so it sucks gas it's really nice but unfortunately that's the downfall to that um and then to get anywhere in the truck it's like 10 bucks in gas so that's 50 to go out on the boat and then on top of that the brakes on the truck are failing so i'm gonna have to replace them i'm gonna start using my dad's truck which i'll show you guys here in a minute until i can get the brakes done on my truck but I've got to pay my mom and my dad back, and then I've got to pay the rest of the money that I owe on my truck to my little sister because I bought that from her when we came down here. Um, I don't know if you guys remember my last video from when I was in North Dakota, but I was trying to sell the Suburban, and she had bought that truck. And then we came down here, and that truck wasn't feasible for her anymore. So then I bought that truck from her and just working on paying her back. But today, um, we're going to be taking the rear brake, which seems to want to actually work now, which is weird. It wasn't working. I would push it like this far and it would stop, but it's feeling like it wants to work now. Um, did I blow the brake on it? I nicked it and I burned it up pretty bad. But it doesn't appear to be bad. So there's not any fluid coming out of my brake. That was what I was worried about is that that was the broken piece. Um, here, pick my splay arm up and see if it's actually. If it fixed itself, I'm actually kind of going to be mad. I'm not going to be mad, but then that also leaves the room for it to break right after I go out and ride it. Then I need this bike because I'm going to be racing again. I don't want to have to race on my dad's bike, which is out of the garage right now, so that I can work on this bike. Um, right now... As you guys can see, the rear suspension, which usually sits right here, is out of the bike. I'll show you guys that here in a minute, but no, it doesn't appear to be fixed. Um, let's see if I can get something. Woo! That almost was not fixed. That doesn't appear like it's going to hit that right. 
Which is kind of weird and raises the question to me, what the heck happened and why is this working now because it shouldn't be. I don't know, maybe when I turn the camera on it fixed it. It was working great before we moved down here. And then we moved down here and when we moved, I have to get some loops for my throttle cable but it's working just fine now, which is weird because my throttle cable had actually locked up before we had moved down. And I'm guessing the vibration on the truck ride down fixed that. Um, but it had thrown off something on my brake. It had adjusted my brake all the way out, but it appeared to be working just fine now. I'm okay with that, so long as it just, just doesn't decide it wants to blow out um, any other time. However, I'm going to replace the brake fluid in it. So I'm going to use an 8 and an 8. It looks like to pull the start off. Um, the brake fluid's pretty dark, which I know from working on it. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'll set you guys up for a time lapse. You guys are already kind of set up. I might turn the camera just a little bit, but I think you guys can see, I'll see everything. Um, yeah. Bike is amazing. I love it. Another weird thing that happened with this bike. Um, the Kickstarter was not working at all. Actually, when I would go to kick it, it would slip out. And then when I went to rebuild my clutch, I had taken everything apart and I'd ordered the spring for it. And I'd gotten the wrong spring twice. Thank you, Kawasaki's uh, parts warehouse. I still have the wrong spring for it. So I never replaced the spring that I needed to replace when I replaced it. But um, put it back together and everything and assembled it and it worked fine. How that works I don't know. Kind of weird to me, but whatever. Um, yeah, I'll get you guys set up for a time lapse so that I can bleed these brakes out. Well, that I can change the fluid and then bleed to good fluid in the brakes and that might just help a lot of my problems right there. Okay guys, so I just completed um, flushing my brake fluid, pretty much. As you guys saw, I just pressed the brake pedal, which is right here, cracked this valve here, which let all my brake fluid go through. Um, what that did was get all that dirty brake fluid that has metal buildup and stuff in it out of the system, and as I was doing that, I felt it free up. So hopefully that means it's good now. Um, this right here is my rear suspension. As you guys see, this part here is the part I keep on having problems with. I'm blowing up. Here, see if I can't find where it's... Right here. That keeps on happening to it. And there are two little cuts there. So 
if any of you guys know a company other than Pivotworks, let me know um, in the comments. For that specific part, for 1999KX250, I doubt any of you do. But if you do, let me know. Um, otherwise, you know, everything looks pretty good except for... Except for... Um, in here, which you guys really can't see, let me... Hold on, I'm going to turn the flash on. Okay, now with the flash on, um, you can see there's a little bit of corrosion in there. And then there is that scarring right there. Which I think is chewing up my o-rings to the point where it's letting all my oil. You guys can see here, this is all greasy. That is shock fluid that you might confuse with brake fluid because of what I just did. But that was there before that. And that was shock fluid um, from blowing out my shock. After I just had it rebuilt, we're going to try to rebuild it one more time. But if you guys know anything, any other companies that I can go through for a shock other than just buying that shock over again. Because I really don't like that shock. Um, it's extremely hard to find parts for. Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, you know, other than being all crusty and dirty, she's kind of ready and set. Um, although I do need a new shift lever. That way I don't strip out the old. I was wondering what shift lever I had on there. I was thinking about that earlier. I used to have an aluminum one on there, but the aluminum one stripped out over the old shift shift uh, thing. It goes across the motor that hits the shift fork. Wasn't good. So, that's good. At least, at least I got that one on there for now. And then I can switch to the other one um, when I can. But the brakes seem to be working better. We'll find out when I go to ride it. If not, then I think I'm just going to try to order one off of a brand new Kawasaki. And then I'm just going to drill the holes to mount it on my frame. So that... I can be running a newer one of those, and I might as well, since I'm going to do that, also do that here. I think actually I'm going to change this to a uh, KX450F triple tree, or 250F depending on which one fits better. I've heard a lot of 250Fs. And then I'll change my forks out to the 250F fork, which are those right there, so that I can get new, probably like a 13 250F braking system, which will be better. I need new rims. Actually, I need to take this off to make sure that I can put new spokes in it, which I don't think I'm going to do. I think I am going to just order a new hub and spoke set for the rear. Because I don't think I'm missing any up front. And I think they're all pretty tight. I'll go through and check them before I go to take it to a track again. But I'm pretty sure they're all tight. It looks like we've got a storm coming in. So depending on if we got a storm coming in. Depends on if I fish tonight. If not, then depending on how long this video is already. I will um, just go fishing tomorrow. Which I've been saying for a week now. But. That'll have to happen. Also, if you guys know anybody that makes a new pipe for the 99 through 02 KX250, which I doubt you guys do. There are only like 43 of you. Hit me up in the comments. I don't want a pro circuit and I don't want an FMF. I want a custom pipe with that custom striping look. It's just going to go a lot better with how I'm going to have the bike redone after I get the frame powder coated and everything, which is going to be coming up hopefully before December. I, I should I should really hope before December, but other than that, um, I gotta respring my forks, but that'll happen a completely other time. Um, pretty much, I've got springs on my forks that are for like a hundred and sixty pound rider, and I was kind of chubby, so I got a rear spring that sorry about my thumb that is rated for two fifty right there but what that unfortunately is going to do is if i hit a big jump and i come down it's going to smack my front end down 
because the rear end is a lot more rigid. Um, this here is my dad's bike. I got to put this back in a second. This is probably the bike you guys will see me doing a couple more rides on before I get that one done. Hopefully I can start riding within the next week or so. You can see it's really dirty right now. He didn't really take good care of it when it's out, but I'm going to clean it up before I go to take it out. It's got newer tires too. You can see they're really cut up though. They keep on hitting on a bolt. I think this bolt right here, but I think he trimmed it down enough to where they don't hit no more. So, but if that has to be, then this is the end of the video. Um, like and subscribe. If not, then this this will just cut straight to fishing. Um, we're going to see. It's getting cooler, so I might just go after the rain. But it looks like it's going to rain here shortly, so I'm not really too sure on that. But until then, I will see you. Find the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love. Yeah, I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah, these days I don't worry about much. I think we should.